guys, what's up? This is Sugi Khan and today I'm gonna do the patch 5.15 patch breakdown. And I wasn't really supposed to do this because I was supposed to be in Cologne, but what happened is in my first day in, I ended up in a hospital and the short story is now I'm back at home. And you know why I was in the hospital? Well, I will talk about that in, uh, in the August vlog, so check that out. It comes out in a few days, okay? but. Um, since since I always do the batch breakdowns, it would be silly to just skip this one. So let's talk about this thing. Um, <clears throat> new updated Fiora. Um, I kind of like the Omni Slash Ultimate that Fiora did have. It's a bit of a Euronero ripoff, granted, but it was a big part of the um, the kit in my opinion. It was the one of the best things because you could do things like get Black Lever. And Hoodrop because those things stacked with the, the things on the ultimate and now it's all about like moving into like certain directions and attacking from there and I can see that being a huge problem and I just don't see how that can actually work on uh, things but it seems to be more skill based now a lot more skill based champion now I'm not saying it was like super easy to play before but I think people had really bad builds in general about Fiora and maybe I will wrap up a guide about the new one. And now the HUD is kind of like updated again. Expect more updates for the HUD in the future. I'm pretty sure the Riot will do different things for that. And Bard Skin Collection. We don't really need to talk about this. A Gangplank is now back. So, you know, what happened in the lore that he was killed. That's why he disabled in things. I thought he had a bug. I thought it was really because you could actually do the barrel, the keg thing with Draven's Q, stack it up. Maybe you can actually do it still. Um, but now there's like some few... So, let's say what the actual fix is. So there's a new model, well, just read the fucking lore, guys. Just read the fucking lore. Um, no, great reduced radius where partly automatically occurs the keg to 1 HP. HP. And now we'll always gain one Silver Serpent in holding abilities and butcher's bridge and twisted flying as crystal car, which is good. Um, Echo. So what happens here is they're like they're reducing the slow, okay? But what they're doing is they're increasing the AP ratio on the passive, and they seem to be. Yeah, they're dropping a bit of the. Uh, they changed how the levels work, so the passive like how it, when it upgrades is now. In level 16 now instead of level 18 so that power spike become comes like le earlier now but it's a bit like lower in, in the whole context of things and the shield now gives a lot more a lot less sh like base shield and shield ratio is now higher so I think that's a really smart thing to do I think the shield was kind of way too strong in the beginning and now they just kind of well the ultimate was kind of broken too now it gives 20% on each rank and the health ratio is now 1% okay so this is, doesn't make really a lot of sense to put it like this but practically you get like 1% per 15 AP but that's fucking lie you can get it to like so big health so big I think more than maybe I'm not a math guy maybe I need to run the numbers you know um, it could be more than the old one for sure, uh, at least basing it on from this because you're losing one of the third and you're getting the double from this one. So, yeah. Um, I don't like this change. I don't like this Needle Lee change because I really like the poking Needle Lee style gameplay. Now it's like you have to use the cat farm all the time and the spear damage is going lower. Why do you have to do this? Why you don't nerf the fucking Q? Why don't fucking nerf the cat, cat fucking damage? That's the fucking point. You need the fucking Q in the lane if you want to play AP Nidalee. Um, as an AD you don't need to. Or they could just put half of the spear, well... Yeah, they could like split the AP ratio on it, make half scale from AD and half scale from AP. But I guess not. Uh, the bushwhack was kind of OP because you, the, ra the radius was pretty huge now, so it's third for what it was. Severe, a lot of mobility nerves, so the initial movement speed and everything, like, just nerves, pretty much. 
Teemo now can like move in a camouflage, camouflage in the brushes all the time so it doesn't break so it's kind of good but kind of bad because then you think about it, there's not many that many brushes out there but the timer will like is like half second so you can like trick enemy easier I guess and because it sells twice faster and it's pretty good but they nerfed the... No, they buffed the attack speed, what the fuck? Okay. So it's weak earlier, but better later game. And the Noxious Trap is a huge nerf because you can't no longer like control the lane by spamming the shrooms everywhere. And, you know, it has a higher cast range now and the traps can bounce from each other and shit. Um, I don't know why they did system like that. It gets him to give him more like range. He could be played mid now because of that change. But, the, but still the problem is like the arm time and well the cooldown stays the same so it's pretty much useless because of that and it has the arm time is higher now so even though you bounce them up it takes 1.5 seconds to the arm and by that the enemy mid laner is like already moved um Zeke's Heartbringer they're changing numbers mostly they're nerfing everything except like increasing the duration to 8 seconds. And then there's the HUD update. And now you can spam the mastery emote. Kind of cool, I guess. Um, the, yeah, this is good. So you can choose your ward from this champion select thing. Nothing too major, I guess. And then there's a the bug fixes and new Cottontail Fears. Um, the really funny part about this is like now it's like end of the summer Easter was like three months ago why do you make this skin now but yeah as always stay subscribed keep following me content check out the August vlog there might be some giveaways because I got some swag from Gamescom there was no league swag though because you know League wasn't for some reason at this Gamescom. I will be filing few theories about that in tomorrow in that vlog that will come out when it will come out. And yeah, some cool stuff coming up. Stay tuned and see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Cheers.